Hi, welcome back to Kitchen Garden Therapy. May is my favorite month of the year because that's when the garden really looks good. Everything comes back to life. So today I would like to share with you the blooms and the buds in my garden. And let's start with this beautiful flower called Lily of the Valley. A lot of people are afraid of having it in their yard because it's known to be toxic. And the Lily of the Valley does consist a lot of saponins and it makes it poisonous, but it's still used by many herbalists as an restricted remedy for various purposes. So I'm planning on harvesting some of this beautiful flower later on a sunny day. It's also very fragrant and I just love having it in my garden. And next is one of my peonies. I'm not sure of the variety, but that's how it looks uh, when it's in full bloom. And this is another variety, um, double cup peony with a bright pink color. And it smells amazing as well. I can't wait for it to bloom, hopefully soon. And here is my stubborn clematis trying to climb on my roses. I wanted to go on the stairs railing, but as you can see, it doesn't like it that way. It wants to be together with my roses. And these beautiful roses already putting some buds on. So in another couple of weeks, we'll have an amazing view here. And over there in the back, my carnations are all potted as well. Also, my hellebores are still blooming. And this is another clematis. I'm not sure of the name but it has a light lavender uh, color flowers. And underneath my clematis are two beautiful flowers, white anemone and a small miniature iris. And the clematis, when it's in bloom, looks like over there on the picture. Also, my pansies are still blooming. I keep deadheading them for a continuous bloom. And this is my beautiful pink lupin, which is not only an attractive flower in the garden, but it's also very beneficial as all of the legumes, it is uh, a nitrogen fixer and a soil builder. That's why I love having it in my garden. And these beautiful little blooms are my alpine strawberries, which I love a lot. And this is my Shizandra blooming, also known as a five flavor fruit, because its little purple red berries are described as having five tastes, sweet, salty, bitter, pungent, and sour. They're delicious. A lot of people make wine out of it, also jams, but it's highly medicinal. It's very good for you. So it's a great addition to any food forest or garden. Earlier I showed you how my alpine strawberries are blooming, 
but these regular strawberries that are growing in hanging baskets are also in bloom so hopefully in a few weeks we'll have some fruits another edible that i grow in hanging baskets is green pea and as you can see it's also blooming and i'm really excited my pink salvia is also blooming right now and next to it there is a flower of joe both perennials It smells amazing in my garden right now because my Persian lilac is in full bloom and I love it. Did you know that lilac flowers are edible? Yes, and you can use lilac flowers to infuse sugar, cocktails, uh, honey and other things. I usually use lilac flowers in desserts Last year I made this beautiful cake with lilac flowers. And the last thing I would like to show you is my flowering quince that has these beautiful rose-shaped uh, flowers. They look amazing. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Until next time.